Okay, 2015 BMW R1200RT water cooled. Um, this was the second year that they had the water cooled um, bike out. And um, this is a prime example. Um, this bike has, I'll tell you a little bit more about it, has 13,894 miles on it. Um, the 12K full BMW maintenance was done. I have all the service records of this since new. Um, this bike comes with all the available packages. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, the standard equipment on here was this power adjustable windscreen, which uh, you can adjust here on the uh, handlebar. That makes the windscreen go up and down. Automatic stability control, traction control, two ride modes, rain and road, heated grips, uh, onboard computer pro. Now that's the basics. And then the things that were added, Bluetooth, dynamic ESA, semi-active suspension, that's a thousand dollar option. Um, the suspension is fully controlled and you can do it on the fly from the handlebar. There's a mode switch there. Hill start control, uh, that's when you're on a hill, it can sense or you can put it in hill start so that if you have a tendency to roll back, you can just take and uh, it'll lock the brake and then you just start to take off and it automatically releases. Um, headlight Pro, so it's got running lights um, and high beam or better quality headlights. Um, it's got an automatic gear shift, air gear shift, so you don't have to use the clutch. That's a fantastic option. Um, the new BMW coming to replace this will have the same thing. Uh, Ride Modes Pro, it adds dynamic package, which automatically adjusts to the road. And uh, you can control the damping on, uh, you know, electronically on the front and rear. There's a comfort package um, that is one of the top three package. There's a touring package and there's a dynamic package. And there's a lot to go over here. Um, you should do your research, just, you know, do that, look that up. But it's got every option you could have, audio system, the GPS preparation up here. I have a GPS for it, but it's gonna go on the new motorcycle. Um, I've got a Navigator 5. If you really gotta have one, I'll sell it to you, but I gotta, I gotta use one for my next bike too. Um, chrome exhaust. So that's over here. So that was an option. Beautiful, it's just beautiful. Radio, like I said. Nice thing here is central locking. So this key right here, with the key on it, that's the central locking. That locks both of these glove boxes here and there, which are really nice. They just pop open, there's a lot of storage in there. And this one over here, you can see that right there. And then it also locks the pan airs. You can do it with the key or it's automatic. And it locks the, the, the trunk. This trunk does not come painted either. This has been custom painted to match um, using BMW factory color. Uh, this is about 25, 2600 with the central locking system on it. Very expensive. Um, with the paint and everything, you got about $3,700 right there uh, sitting on that. This also has inside um, an option where it has a light up there. It automatically comes on. And you just turn a dial and off it comes. So it's pretty, pretty simple here. So of course, cruise control, tire pressure monitor, heated seats, and on and on and on it goes. Um, this is cruise control right here. Okay. This is the windshield control, etc. And then some other options that I've added. One is the Works Quiet Ride Windshield. If you do your research on this, this is one of the quietest windshields. Great protection, better than stock, although the stock one will come with the bike. Um, we've got engine guards on, about a $450 option. These are made by Krauser, really good brand. And then we also have the Panair uh, guards on both sides. And then in the front, we've got one of my favorites, the fender extender, so it doesn't throw stuff up on the motor. And then we've got a bigger base here on the um, kickstand. Great two up passenger or single. 
these box these come off with just turning a key and just pick it up and take it off very simple to get it down to a stripped down version if you if you really want to so all like i said all maintenance has been done on it's just ready to ride i've got all the all the paperwork on it let's just fire this up so this has a uh, key fob so you don't need key it's called keyless key fob looks like this although it does have a key press a button on the back and this key comes out and that key can be used for the pan airs or can be used to uh, take the seat off these seats like I said are both heated controlled by the passenger the passengers controls right down there and this is controlled you know by the wonder wheel on BMW and by the display This is the Let's turn that off. This is a water cooled and it actually turns in the opposite direction than previous air cooled generations. Um, Boxer motors tend to move the motorcycle. This one is so well balanced. 125 horsepower it's like a sport bike it's great fantastic handling it's won the number one touring awards for about five or six years if you check i have had um, every major touring motorcycle um you know harleys and honda gold wings uh fjr uh, multistrada you name it this is my most favorite machine of all time Handles like a sport bike, but it's got upright seating. Oh yeah, one other thing. This has little extensions for the, uh, you know, they're like bar risers. They're called Healy bars. Very special, that's these right here. And so it lifts it up and back, so it's even a more upright, comfortable position to sit in. Uh, but a wonderful touring machine, or you can strip it down for, for day riding. Beautiful motorcycle, uh, looking for a new home. I'm actually downsizing to a lighter weight bike. Um, but this is very low, very, very low balance because the engines on these sit so low. So all the weight's low, it's not top heavy. Anyway, thanks for looking. This will be on Facebook Marketplace and maybe other places.